What is up, boys and girls? Welcome back to another Aoki Gets Coached session. Today, we are joined by none other than the rank one gen global, the rare boy himself. I keep it taco. Uh, that no one, I can guarantee you, nobody on planet Earth knows more about gin than this guy. So, taco, how are we doing today, bud? Uh, I'm doing pretty good. All right, so this how do you feel guy... about this matchup? Uh, what's the matchup? Can you ta tap? Him and Rakan, uh, or Kaisa Rakan, uh, it should be easy. Kaisa's short range, you can abuse her pretty. Oh wait, fuck! You were supposed to go boots. Oh no, bro! That hey, that's on you, man. You're supposed to tell me yeah. that. You're the coach. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah, uh, you usually want to go uh, longsword or boots. Because if you go boots, you can just abuse your uh, auto attack range and land fourth shots, and they can never really run away from uh, you, especially a short range like Kaisa. Okay, okay. And then long sword is so you have uh, a decent amount of AD, so your trades are powerful. And then you also have like a shit ton of pots to just trade, trade, trade. Okay. So usually how Jin works is that he wants to just trade, get them low, and kill them. Gotcha. So the reason why most of his starting item, uh, starting items have like a lot of pots, is because if he does 400 damage to you and they do 400 back, that's a win, because he gets stronger the lower HP the enemy is, and then he heals back with pots. A lot of uh, ADCs don't really have mechanics that make them do more damage the lower HP the enemy is, so he wants to just constantly trade and poke. Got it. Got it. Yeah, you want to auto a minion, walk up, and then fourth shot. Yeah, then you back off. Ooh, I yeah. like that damage. Whenever you get your flee, you want to walk up with auto, then fourth shot. So third bullet, you auto to use flee, then you fourth shot. Got it. Okay, I, sh I should have fourth shotted her there, right? Yeah, Instead yeah, yeah, of no, minion. It's fine. Trade, 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 trade. Okay, okay. I'm trying, yeah, I'm trying. Yeah. Auto, use movement speed, then auto, or fourth shot in that case. All right, I'm actually, I just finished my, like, ADC to diamond climb. But like I played much more like stereotypical marksman. So like playing Jin, like this champion, even just in the, in these early levels, like this feels like so different from every other marksman. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Because Jin is supposed to be a lane bully, but a lot of the time supports especially will not play as if he's a lane bully. And when you play too safe with a Jin, you make him weak. And then people start having that stereotype of Jin does no damage. Well, Jin does no damage if you don't play aggro. The Jin and the support need to play aggressive in unison to actually take advantage of his, uh, his like just kit in general. Yeah, it's like playing Draven, but the Draven player and the support player play safe for ten minutes and they don't get a kill. Yeah, I honestly so that's why do I, see uh, like the Jin to Draven. He's like a long range safer version of Draven. Yeah, you should be able to kill this. You need a flash over the trap. Okay, should I no, flash no, it? Flash. Oh, you're, you're dead, you're dead. I'm dead, I'm it's dead. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hate this part of playing ADC, man. Yeah, you're fine, you're fine. Uh, what should have happened there is that while your support was dying, you flash over the trap, and then you heal and escape, and you just let them die. Gotcha, gotcha. You leave them to the fishes at that point. Okay, do we go Boots of Swiftness here, or...? Uh, no, you want to go uh, Pickaxe. Pickaxe, uh, Pink Ward, and then a Pot. Yeah, then you want a Rush Bot, yeah. Got it. All right, so these are pretty good runes, though, right? Because I've seen like Jins go Fleet yeah, Footwork yeah. and Dark Harvest. Yeah, those are, those are the those are the runes I go at the moment. Could you walk us through like kind of the difference in mindset, like between playing like a, a Dark Harvest page and a Fleet Footwork? Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, let me see. I mean, Dark Fleet Harvest feels good is in general. When the enemy is very squishy, easy to burst, easy to proc it often, and snowball. And then Flee is when you want to just focus on trade, sustain, and positioning. So in lower elos, Dark Harvest is usually better because in lower elos, people have no concept of like mortality. So they die nonstop without fearing for like dying. <laughs> uh, and it's really easy to abuse this. So you go Dark Harvest. <laughs> And okay. uh, you snowball and makes it easier to kill them over and over and over again. And I'm, I'm saying this from like a, a low elo perspective. I'm not talking about like, oh, I'm smurfy and I don't smurf. Yeah. But like when uh, my viewers play and they go Dark Harvest and they show me their match history, they get like 12 kills, 15, 18, and they go Dark Harvest. So it's pretty abusable in lower elo. Mm. Uh, Fleet is when you think it's going to be more of a chill, sustain, trade kind of lane or more of like a, you know, like just slow, slow kind of pacing. And it's also the safer and more reliable one. 
Bro, this okay, Shaco just... is a twerp, man. Run back, man. just run back, run back. Put a trap down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good kiting, good kiting. Just focus your con. Okay. Keep autoing, you win this, you win this. I win this? Yeah, 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 you win, you win. Put a ward. Fasha. WWW. Okay. I'm auto, auto, auto. Where'd he go? Yeah, 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 yeah. I, okay, do I keep chasing fine. or leave? You don't have the movement speed. You can't chase him. Oh, uh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Not bad, though. Yeah, that was good. That was good. Yeah, uh, another issue that a lot of people make in low elo for Jin as well is that they don't fight and right-click enough while their support's getting killed. When your support is getting murdered like this, you need to just, like, perma-focus the enemy. Yeah, I I've noticed that's, like, a big problem with, like, supports in general and ADCs is that like bot lane the concept of like presence like if your support is running backwards they can't like defend themselves right you have to give the enemy team a reason to stop chasing your support and vice versa like nobody like yep, helps yep, the yep. helps their like ally get out of st sticky situations okay so am I going Gale Force or Kraken uh whole tap uh definitely gale force i okay. think like kraken requires you to have like a certain experience level with Jin. otherwise it'll feel a bit off and you won't like play aggressive enough for it got you yeah so Jin kind of has this like gameplay style where he has to like dip in and out of fights obviously playing around like his reload style and i'm like somewhat yeah. familiar with that because i play senna and she kind of has like the same unique like auto attack, yeah, yeah, like this yeah. spacing between it. They, they feel Senna, somewhat similar, yeah. Senna is an August champion, and we yep. all love August Yes, champions, sir, we stay guys. in August in this household, baby. I play uh, I play Jin, and then I uh, I play Jinx, and then I play Zeri, and then I play Senna. <laughs> so uh, me and August have like this running joke where uh, he basically, you know, designs ADCs that specifically matches my kind of taste, and then another joke where it's like, on my stream, it's just like advertising his champions. Because that's mostly what I play. Okay, so... A little so, bit of a misposition here. You got a little bit too close to them, but it's fine. Yeah, I, I was uh, I was trying to bait. I probably baited yeah. a little too hard. Yeah, 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 yeah. I gotta remember I'm playing AD carry. Like, the most glass freaking, like, roll of all time. Like, you get hit by one mm -hmm. thing and your health bar is gone. Wait, wait, go look at tower. This tower? Oh, plate. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. I was I was watching your last game. You said yeah. you don't really help with dragons that often. Is that like a gin specific yeah. thing or? It, it, it's it's a early game, uh, not relying on team kind of mindset. So gotcha. a lot of the time, if I help my teammate do dragon, sometimes I'll lose. Oh, you need a recall on this, by the way. Yeah. Got it. Um. Uh. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. You need a recall here. Okay. No shove and then recall. Sorry. Shove? Sorry. Uh. I was trying to see if you can buy anything important, but you can't really. And I was trying to think if the enemy will punish you for over saying, but they won't. So you can shove this and then recall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Nocturne's wanting to stay. Should I stay or recall? Uh, stay, but move a bit back. You want them to push in. Okay, okay. And uh, you want to move back so your alt is wider. Oh, I've never thought about it like that. Yeah. So I have a better like angle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because if you alt like too close to them, it's just like a shotgun. You have no range. Oh yeah, what was I gonna say? Um, yeah. So over time playing solo queue and high elo, I realize a lot of the time junglers will want you to sacrifice everything to help them, but they won't sacrifice anything to help you. And since the ADC is really team reliant, I'm like, bro, I just lost. A plate and a cannon wave to help you get dragon and then after we get dragon air dragon which is useless for Jin, by the way um after i helped him with dragon the jungler goes mid dies mid dies and i'm like why did i help them get dragon i just lost like a potential 350 gold that i could have used to snowball kill the enemy laner and then carry the game and it's just like a lot of repeat cases where i put myself behind to put my teammates ahead they throw the game or they get cocky and then i do no damage or i don't snowball and then we lose the game because i'm putting the uh, the resources on my team 
Yeah. So unless it's like a fire dragon or a hexic drake, I will usually only help a dragon after I have nothing to farm or do bot. Yeah. Le League's kind of like a unique game where it's like, it's yeah. obviously a team oriented game, but like you you have to draw You're a line. Ganked, by the way, you gotta run. Uh... Auto Rakan? Where'd Shaco go, okay. man? Thought I had him. He, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was he was behind. So you want to know what I like to do? Mm -hmm. Uh, guess what you should do here uh, versus Shaco as an ADC. Umbral? Uh no, uh, Red Trinket. Oh, Red Trinket. Okay. Yeah. And uh, now, whenever he ganks, you just Red Trinket when he's invis, and then you know where you need to uh, be kiting. What, what should I uh, what should I be buying here? By no, the way? just just go to base base, base. or uh, lane, or lane 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 I'll leave base, base. But yeah, back to the whole, like, you know, individuality and, like, our uh, individual, like, agency, I guess, compared to, like, team. Like, obviously, like, me helping with the dragon does, in, in, in the bigger grand scheme, like, does help out, like, every person on the team. But, like, if you're sacrificing, like, a wave and a half and, like, half of your health bar for it, like, you know... It, it, it's just yeah. like a really delicate balance of like helping the team versus helping you, which helping yeah. the team is helping you. I don't know. It's really complex. Helping the team is helping you, but only if the team knows what they're doing and they right. don't throw the lead. So if they don't know what they're doing and they throw the lead, it just feels terrible. I missed the cannon, um, bro. I'm sorry, man. Yeah. I'm no, sorry you had to watch good. that. Okay, so one thing you need to do is that you have to place traps more. Okay. Um, just like defensively, you mean? In the yeah, in the spots where uh, Shaco's like trying to gank you. Also, look, Shaco's here. Back off. Yeah. Well, I I, yeah. I, I want to get this wave in just because I know like Kais is like. Yo yo yeah yeah. yeah. Get, get rid of the pink cord. Yo yo. Get rid of the pink cord. Okay okay okay. I want you to make a play. So this, you want this, you want to go assassinate low. him? Yeah. Use red trigger. Assassinate him. Go. Oh, I'm go. gonna I'm I'm on vision. Go <sighs> force. Go force. Yeah, there we go. Oh, bad, no bad. Sloppy, okay, okay. But it works. Yeah. But yeah, I wanted you the red trinket, and then you'll be able to see where uh, Chaco is, and then you just scale force, auto Q, dead. Gotcha. All right. Follow Taco, I'm going shots. to hit all four of these shots once I start ulting. Mm -hmm. Hit the, uh, the vision. The vision. You need the vision, bro. Ah! I'm, I'm, I'm freaking out, bro. Where's he at? Oh, oh, is is he oh, too good. far? Can I ult? Alt, alt, alt. No, no, no. Yeah. Land. If you land everything. Taco, he's not even in the oh, game good. anymore. No, he was there. He was there. I couldn't find him, man. I couldn't find him. No, no, no. Yeah. That was so I mean, much pressure, a, man. That's, that, that's another thing. The likelihood of you successfully killing him with that alt is like maybe 10%. Do you think it's still worth to like try it then, even at, at like yeah, 10%? Yeah, 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 100%. It's worth. Because you right. wanna, you wanna try to make opportunities appear from landing your shots. Yo, Shaco's here, by the way. She's waiting you. Or she's not. Just kill her, bro. I've tried. Please. Mm. Yes. Oh my yeah, you god. Need a you need to keep bush control, otherwise she like fucks your auto attacking because it's yeah, yeah. slow. What, okay, so what do you mean by like keep bush control? Like stay in the bush? Stay within vision. So if you see her going to the next bush, you want to be following her even if you're melee range. Gotcha, gotcha. Because you out DPS her at this point. Okay. You like stat check her. Should I be IE but, next? Oh, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Wait for BF sword. Wait for BF sword. Uh, Alicopter, no, we did not win with the Alistar. Alistar went 0-6, but I honored him for being friendly. <laughs> <laughs> Every, everyone else I on saw, my I team kind of went like... Everyone else on my team kind of went like 1-3, 1-5, but they were all like gigatoxic and tilted, so I just like reported them. I he, honored Ali, bro. So. He had heart. Yeah, yeah, he didn't play good, but like, he, he did his best and he didn't give up. Uh, but yeah, um, Jin alts are saved way too much it's like uh basketball right you miss every shot you don't take so that's what separates like the really good gen players from like the average ones they aren't afraid really of good miss ones shots. yeah they're not afraid of failure that's wise that's like, like, like right people there. try to make fun of me when i alt and i miss every four shots and i'm like listen dude like yeah sometimes you're gonna miss everything but sometimes you're gonna land everything in that like super omega impossible ulti 
Like sometimes there will be an invis champion and I land all four shots with zero <laughs> hints. That's the... And I'll be like, yeah, dude, like I, I there was a small chance. I, I try to make it happen and it happens. So. All right. So should I be baiting them for my nocturne here? Uh, no. Just you get the wave wait. in. Just, just get the wave in, get traps, and then you can start baiting. Because if you have more vision, you have more control over, like, you bait them, but then you, you also have no risk. Okay. Yo, wifey, congrats on uh, getting masters, dude. I remember you were, like, D1 two, three weeks ago. Good job, wifey. We're proud of you. Okay, auto, auto the tower, by the way. Um, not now, not now. Uh, so another tip is you want to use your autos for towers, use your abilities for minions when you're in, like, tower range. Oh, okay. Because your, your, like, entire kit, like, QWE, will pretty much wave clear the entire wave. Man, um, I'm so dead. Just run. Uh, too late. Dude. Yeah, so one thing you're doing is that you are pushing up far alone without having vision of, uh, Shaco. Oh, true, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I, I needed to respect while my Lux was clearing the ward there for mm -hmm. sure. Mm -hmm. Man, this Shaco is really camping though. Dude's okay, got right. like so a timeshare down I in think I'm going to stop offloading too many like nuances of Jin. Because uh, at the moment, I should be piloting you to not get um, jumped on by Shaco. Well, it's, it's really good intel. It's like really good information. Because... Cause you told me like about how you want to hear the interesting stuff, but if I say the interesting stuff too much, it's, like, then I push into tower and die you. like an idiot. Yeah, yeah. Because then, <laughs> then you like autopilot and die. Yeah. So. <laughs> I'll save interesting All stuff. All right, like, so I'm going 26. mid until you tell me not to. Do I go bot or mid? Uh, just kill mid. While okay, you're okay, here. okay. That guy's gone. If uh, no, look, look at him off. Look at him. He's he might plan something. Okay. okay. Oh, there's like no turret here. Don't take my cannon! Oh my god. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah. No, 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 not through river. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, don't, safe, don't. safe, safe, safe. You're right, you're right, you're right. I'm, nah, play, I'm playing the worst role in the game. I need to be safe. Shot. You're right, you're right. The thing about ADC is that it's OP when your uh, teammates are playing around you, but when they're not, it's like the least influential yeah. role in the game. It's it's like a survival so horror like, game when you're so alone. So like that's why in, in that's why you'll hear like pro players or challengers complain about how ADC is the most broken role, but it's the most broken role in that like um, area because they know if their ADC is fed, you just you know, camp him and help him non-stop and win the game. Yeah. But in every other elo that's not challenger pro play, they will not play around the ADC, and then ADC has no impact. Yo. Bro! Please, yeah. man! Just keep running. By the way, fun mechanic that would have saved you is that if you stared back at Shaco right before the yeah, knife hits the you, you don't get the slow, and then you escape. Bro, I feel like I'm like disappointing my dad right now, man. I I'm dying to so <laughs> no, many no, gigs. No, no, no. I mean, remember? I I don't know if my chat remembers, but I said one of the things about live coaching is that uh, when you do live coaching, people can get like nervous or too multitasking, or there's too much information like uh, overload, hmm. where they like start making too many mistakes, like uh, the getting yeah. caught. Part, yeah. Now, I, I don't want to fall into, like, the ADC trap of just, like, blaming my support. But, bro, where has my support been, man? Like, actually. No, she, like, 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 like here's, here's the thing. I used to be a support main before I was a gen main. And 100%, you have no vision in the bot lane. Your Lux is randomly roaming for no reason. <laughs> but this is how ADC works. You need to just accept it. You're like yep. uh, the rat of society. You're beneath rats. You are nothing. <laughs> you are the filth be below everyone's shoes. Right? Like, like, yeah, like Lux can help you. Lux can help you. And you get a triple kill. Because, like, if she stuns one of them, you one-shot them. But she's not going to do that, right? Uh... Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say you got you got this. Oh, maybe, maybe yes, slow. Let's yes, let's go! Oh was, my god! I was, tell I was me you're proud say, of me. Tell me you're proud of me I'm right proud, now, and I'll I'm win proud. the game. Well, listen, listen, listen. I'm proud, but I was gonna say maybe you get this because if Shaco autopilots in a straight line, you hit him, and he autopiloted, and you hit him. Thank God. Um, but yeah, you need to like uh, come to terms with that. Yeah. Because uh, even if you have 10 kills as Jin, uh, like if you don't have a support, 
you can't really like one shot everyone. Just keep running, keep running. You're fine, you're fine. Q, W, W in this corner right here. Uh, but keep your distance here. Keep your distance. Okay, don't gale force in, you're saying? Okay, I think you misclicked your fourth shot, but it's fine. You kite this, you kite okay, this. Okay, okay, auto, no, no. auto, auto oh. in. You played uh, a little bit back, but it's fine. Boom. You win this. Hey, good job, good job. That was good kiting. Not bad, not bad. Did you say I, I, but, uh, yeah. I missed my four shot? Did I auto a minion? Uh, yeah, yeah. You four shot something that wasn't Kaisa. I think you four shot like a ghoul or something. Got you. Well, um, Kaisa is a ghoul, but you know. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> okay, but yeah. Um, Collector? Guess, RFC? Uh, I think AF RFC is better here. Yeah, okay, RFC. Because okay. the enemy's not getting tanky. You're actually uh, better off saving for Quick Cloak next time. Because Crit Cloak isn't too far off. Oh, okay. So you're safe for that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, what was I going to say? Yeah, so... Number one, yes. Indirectly, you dying a lot is your support's fault. Because they are making the game so difficult. And they're indirectly putting you so behind. Because you're forced to play so safe. But that's just how it is, right? Yeah, it's one of those, like, you got to play if, the cards you're dealt sort of you, things. Yeah, it's like you just have to deal with it. Um... If you get five kills in lane and your support stops warding and abandons you and now you need a 1v3 because the enemy jungler is camping you and you lose your lead, it is what it is. Yep. You have to just try to minimize it. You got to try to survive uh, and uh, just try not to die. Bro, I have try to flame to my support a little got. bit. Do you, do, you, do you agree or no? For what? I have to flame them a little bit. Just just for any, no, for no, everything. No, anything. You, no, you don't flame. I have to a little bit, bro. I have to for my no. mental. No. Oh my god, that's a, an amazing my fight out. You should just be content oh. with the fact that you're better and smarter than them. And it's okay, not, I'm gonna tell them that. Their fault. You, you're no, you're telling me to tell them that. that I am better no. and smarter than you. My coach told no. me to. No, no, no. Okay, 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 okay. Enter. No. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Uh, use Red Trinket. Red Trinket. Oh my god! Yeah, if you use Red Trinket, you would, like, basically notify that Shaco is trying You're, to smite, yeah. and then your teammates would see it, and it would help prevent a steal. I actually literally had a, an entire control ward, too. I just didn't put it down. It's my bad. It's my uh, bad. The control ward doesn't work. Uh, control war wards only work against camouflage. They don't work against true invis. And Shaco has something called true invis that is only detectable through, uh... Red Trinket or TF Alt and like specific champion abilities. Mm. I think Lee Sin E as well. So Red Trinket does not work on Shaco or Kha'Zix R or Akali Shroud. But uh, uh, yeah, Red Ward doesn't work against that. But Red Trinket does. There we go. Dude, this champion is like, I don't know, just like so fun to shoot things with. Yeah, yeah, he's fun. He's very fun. He's not very strong and not very meta at the moment, but he's very fun. And for the most part, like, he's pretty good. I think in low elo, like, uh, iron all the way to, like, gold, he's, like, usually S plus or S no matter what. Just because, like, people never punish him and he's a very bursty long-range champion. Uh, but once you get to, like, plot diamond above, that's when he gets a little bit, like, uh, rough if... The meta is not in a good spot for him. Yeah, I can see that. All right, so where should I be my, in general? Uh, like, you should be farming mid. Mid. Okay. Yeah. I think I think Shaco's down here somewhere. I just want to be here so for like follow up. So if I like, go to up. my good friends, oh. Yeah, you want to get red buff and then uh, be farming mid. Uh, also, you need to politely tell Vagar to farm bot so you can safely farm mid without dying. No! Stop! No. Like that? You should also... Yeah, but you want to explain to him why he should be bot. You want to explain to him... You can solo... It's fine, he's moving, he's moving, he's moving, it's fine. But yeah, uh, a lot of people don't know this. I guess some, a good amount are learning at least, but the ADC should always go mid. 
after the laning phase is over because that is the only lane. Yo, you need to help your team. They're like having a team fight there. <laughs> yo, Invis. Yo, hit her. Hit her. She's dead. Flash Gale Force. Flash Gale Force. Let's go. Let's go Recon. Heal, heal, heal. Heal for movement speed. Oh, w the freaking oh, root wore off. I should have shot it earlier. Oh my god. Yeah, I had that, if, man. If, if you healed a little bit earlier, you auto proc fleet. Get movement speed proc, auto, kill, yep. and uh, yeah, it's fine. It was good. Very close to the triple kill. Yep. Um, I hesitated, man. That was my bad. But yeah, all good, all good. First time, Jin. Uh, anyway, if you, if we go using our good friends at you, the GG, he is currently uh, C tier at a Is that your sponsor? Did you just plug a freaking sponsor? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh... He has a 49% win rate in, uh, wait, wait, I'll let you team fight this. Just run. Auto no, 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 keep run. plugging, keep, keep plugging. We love you, Dot okay, okay. <laughs> No, 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 no. Focus first. Yeah, W, easy. Shaco, Shaco, careful. Uh, He's gonna try to one-shot you. I'm scared. I see him, I see him, I see him. Just keep hitting dragon. Keep hitting dragon. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, your, team, your team's got him fine. Please. Okay, at least we got a dragon. Okay, be very careful about how close you got. Because Shaco's like might yeah. try to one-shot you and then run away. Alright, yeah. I've got I've got a lot of gold. Should I buy? Uh yes. Uh, rapid fire and then uh Bloodthirster. Bloodthirster looks good here. T okay. Got this circle around me now. I feel po feel powerful. But yeah, so right now he has a 49% win rate. Might drop down to a D tier. He's C tier at the moment. He might drop to a 48% win rate. Uh, and that's usually because he just needs too many moving parts in high elo to make him work. He needs to get fed. He needs his teammates to play around him. He needs his teammates to make picks with him. But uh, a lot of the time that will not happen, especially in solo queue. But if you play something like Kai'Sa, you kind of just farm and then you one-shot everyone. And then you just like win. Or Zeri. Or Draven. Uh, but in lower elos, where a lot of people play Messi and you can get kills non-stop left and right and people don't punish you, Jin just has like 51, 52, 53, 54% win rate. Alright, what's the plan right now? Because we're kind of like on 10 different pages. Oh, uh, you just keep farming. Just keep farming, farming. Yeah, farming. your farm is actually pretty bad for Jin. Oof. Jin is one of those champions where you need to be farming really, really good because that determines your strength. You can apply that to every ADC because it does apply to every ADC, but some ADCs are way more gold reliant than others. And Jin is very gold reliant because he depends on momentum and early game. Okay, keep in mind of where Shaco is so he does not like uh, jump on you. So just be like uh, aware. Yeah, Shaco is on Nocturne, so you just keep helping uh, Malphite here. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the real Shaco. The one in the back. The one in the back. Oh, I missed. Yeah. Oh god. Wait, this was the real Shaco. Uh, actually, yeah, I was wrong. Oh my <laughs> god, that, yeah, that was a good juke though. Like that was a good Shaco play. I don't think that was a good Shaco play. I just assumed that was fake because it was doing no damage. So I want you to tab, and we'll look at his items. Okay, okay, that's why he does no damage, because we have a tank, bruiser, nocturne, and he's going full lethality, assassin, Shaco. That does no damage to a tank, nocturne, okay. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, because I was like, there's no way that's a real Shaco, because he's literally doing no damage, but I guess it was real the entire time. Yeah, I think he did play, like, a pretty good mind trick, though, because, like, it definitely looked like the clone was trying to survive, you know what I mean? Like, it was trying to yeah, run away. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was a good play. Alright, do we sell D-Blade and get BF Sword here? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Dude, I want to win this game so bad. Like, oh. It's neck and neck. I take red, and then we, like, Just win. group up. Uh, get red buff, yeah. And then put a trap at Raptors, so you can start that camp. I'll get melee range, so the trap hits everything. Yeah. Ooh, okay, okay. Smart. And then you auto and then move mid. Also, there's a Shaco to your right. He's doing blue buffs, so just be aware of that. I always think it's like look at Renekton, so... Look at Renekton, look at Renekton. Okay, okay, okay. I'm looking, I'm looking. Yeah, yeah. Look, I'm... he might step on your trap to the right. Look. 
Look to your trap. W. Ooh. Yeah, free poke. Saw, baby. You might be able to auto him. Oh, no, it's not. It's warded, so you cannot auto him. But yeah, that's how you get picks. What you did on Renekton is exactly how you get picks on every type of champion. Support ADC mid jungle top. So mid to late game, sometimes you can literally win a team fight just because they step on the trap and you time it perfectly with W and then they get caught and die. Oh my god. Malphite yo, yo, yo. on the sentry. Careful with, uh, careful with Rakana R into Renekton flash. Oh, Shingo's I missed that one. Top, doing uh, Krugs. Okay, is there ever a situation where I should like actually open up with alt there? Just for like a soft engage uh, almost? Only if you make a pick on like Kai'Sa. Like she's rooted. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna try it just, just to get us fighting. Mm. Oh boy. Look at your team in case they need help. Nah, what? they're fine. Got him. You can focus him. Gale Force, kill him. Gale. No, you could have killed I, can him. I kill, can I have really? I was so far yeah, away. You, oh you, my god. You rooted him. I'm sorry. Look. I'm sorry. No, no, no. No, it's fine. Look, look, look. Get ready. You might be able to. Bro, go back. That's a bro. I'm Gale scared, man. I'm scared. Do it. I'm scared, oh, Taco. I am scared. scared. Do you understand I, what I, fear is, man? I, I'm, I, I'm... I, I, I told you this is what separates the great from the, right, the I'm going back for him. players. I'm going back for him. Gale Force. Okay, wait for Invis. Gale Force auto. Gale Force auto. Oh. Cute. See? See how easy that was? That was so easy. I should have done that yes. from the get-go. Yes. That's what I was trying to tell you. Oh, my God. I should have listened. But, uh, yeah, when you root someone at max, they cannot move for 2.25 seconds unless they have tenacity. And when you hit a rooted target, you get, like, a bazillion movement speed. So after you rooted Shaco, he sucked there for, like, 2.25 seconds. You just run up with movement speed, Gale Force, auto Q, kill him. And then you kill this guy, too. Yeah, good root. Bro, this champion's broken. No, he is not broken. He's, I think he needs some nurse, Taco. If if he was broken, my teammates wouldn't be banning him, saying, <laughs> "Oh, sorry, I don't like Jin players. They do the champ does no damage." Wait, you get target banned by your own team? Are you serious? Yes, that's people crazy. don't like Jin because they think he does no damage, but his damage is reliant on whether his teammates throw the game or not. Yeah, I I, I definitely get and that I same like least. irrational level of blame when I play Senna, but but like I yeah. don't get target banned. Like usually when we lose, it's like, oh, it's because we had a Senna. But like, yeah. dang, target banning is an, is next level hating. Because like, for Jin to do damage, the Jin player needs to be really good. They need to farm really good. They need to be ahead. The support has to play with them, not roam 24-7. And then the team has to be patient and team fight with Jin. Yep. So all if right. he can meet all of that criteria, then Jin does a fuck ton of damage. But if some of those are missing, he does zero damage. So, uh, sorry to interrupt. Are we going yeah, GA? Yeah, yeah. Uh... Uh, LDR? Hold tab, hold tab, hold tab, hold tab. I'm holding it. Mm, go LDR, yeah. LDR, LDR? okay. Yeah, yeah. Last whisper? Just wait for last whisper, yeah. Do a little dancing. <laughs> but that's one of the reasons why, like, I'll tell my chat guys, once we break out of like D1 low masters, we skyrocket and win most of our games. And I went from like zero LP to now 280 in like two weeks. Because I've been winning a lot. Because whenever I win lane, the team helps me and then we win game. And then they realize Jin does damage. But when Jin is fed and the team is not taking advantage of him being fed, his damage falls off. I think I can. You kill him, by the way. I think it was the other oh, one. Oh, blocks! Yeah, because the other one, I think, got rooted. The clone wasn't rooted. So, do I Gale Force in there and hope that t Gale Force targets, like. No, you just Gale Force and auto him, yeah. It, okay. it should, like, 100% focus him. First time I see you, I appreciate it. But there's sir, that's because they buffed it a lot. So now I build it. Okay, I feel like I'm like pretty Careful. invincible yeah, right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe, maybe I'm feeling you're, you're too invincible. You're invincible until you get. Yo, you kill them. You kill them. You kill them. Just kite this pro. I. 
You might get away with it. You might get away with it. I, cause like I, I would like you win this as long as you kite patiently. But then you just like flash in melee range with Necton. He stuns you and dies. I'm like I, I said, though. you're invincible as long as you don't get stunned in one shot. As well, long as all you play I heard the was you're invincible, patient. so I flashed in, man. You didn't even let me finish my <laughs> sentence. But yes, if you kite slow, patiently, methodically, uh, you just kill them easy. 1v2. Alright, well. I messed up. Yeah. It's okay. No, that's okay. Th th this is looking like a dub, and I'm learning a lot, like actually, and I'm sure everybody watching on YouTube right now is learning. So that it, it's an overall dub for the server. I would hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I haven't been able to like coach you in the do not die part enough because of like the random like info bits here and there. Yeah. Well, I mean, like to be fair, I've only died five times, and like. I don't know. I, I feel like that's not that many. Like, Kais has died 12 no, times. No, no, no. That, that's not many. But, like, most, if not all of those deaths were avoidable. And then also, yeah. I think you missed, like, 15 potential kills, so. Oh, my God. You, 15? You think I can yeah, have 30 yeah. kills right now? Yeah, you, you have oh no idea you know how many times I've seen you, like, let someone live because you were too scared to, to chase them or too scared to all in. Which is fair because you're new to ADC. Yeah. But yeah. I, I don't know how many... I, I think... Wait, how many kills did I get? I actually have a, a YouTube video where I, I think I got like 52 games in a Grandmasters lobby. 52 or, kills? Sorry, fi 52 kills, yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah, it was three months ago. I got 50 kills in a Grandmaster game. And I titled the video, I got 50 kills on Jin and made Grandmaster players look like silver. <laughs> <laughs> Which goes to show, like, you have a lot of kill pressure if you're just patient and you plan. All right, it's looking like we're closing this one out. So, do you yeah. want to give us some, like, closing thoughts on this? What did we do right, first of all? Because we we, uh, we believe in positive you land, reinforcement. You were, you, were, you were good at landing skill shots. Uh, decent trading. Um, decent That's all? positioning outside of the getting killed and ganked by Shaco nonstop. Uh, negatives. Uh, work on farming. Got it, got uh, it. Work on... Yo, uh, work sorry, on Dis Discord dropped on me. The, uh, invisible opponent. Uh, use traps more in enemy jungle and uh, fog of war to get alerted of the enemy uh, ganking you. Um, be more patient in team fights so you can 1v2 or 1v3 easily. Uh, when you land a root, try to use a movement speed to walk up and kill them. You don't need to play it safe. Uh, farm more. Uh, Jin wants to get at least 8 CS per minute so he can keep his momentum up and stay one-shotting people and snowballing. Uh, <laughs> That's a lot of negatives, bro, but I'll, I'll yeah, keep on working on them. It's a lot of negatives, yeah. <laughs> I'll keep working on them. Well, uh, well, first of all, man, thank you so yeah, much for joining us for the video. You always do better. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. Yeah, Gotta yeah, have that yeah. improvement mindset. But everybody that's watching this on my YouTube channel, I'm gonna leave the Discord, or I'm gonna leave the uh, the details to his Twitch stream. He streams almost daily, and he uploads on YouTube like once a week or something. Definitely yeah, go check every, him out. Every one to two weeks. Yeah, definitely go check him out, especially if you're interested in Jin. Like nobody is doing Jin content like this guy is. So uh, again, thank you so much, Taco, for joining us, man. That's a really no fun one video. Wants to play Jin in Hilo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but yeah, thanks, bro. Yeah, of course, man. Well, uh, take it easy, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace. Uh...